Ever stare at your bank account with that sinking feeling? You know the one, rent's due tomorrow, but that paycheck feels miles away. Maybe an unexpected bill threw a wrench in your budget, or that weekend getaway cost a little more than anticipated. Whatever the reason, you're facing a financial short-term and need a way to bridge the gap. That's where cash advance apps like FloatMe come in. They offer a quick and seemingly easy solution. Get a small amount of money up front to cover your expenses until your next payday. But with convenience often comes questions. One of the biggest ones? How long does it actually take to get the money in your account? Let's dive into the nitty gritty of FloatMe's deposit times and explore some factors that can affect how fast you see that cash. Free versus expedited deposits. Understanding the speed. FloatMe offers two deposit options, standard and expedited. The standard deposit is completely free and typically takes between one to three business days to hit your account. That means if you request a float on Monday morning, you can expect the money by Wednesday or Thursday at the latest. Not exactly instant, but for a free service, it's a reasonable time frame. Need the cash quicker? FloatMe offers an expedited option that gets the money in your account in as little as 30 minutes. Sounds tempting, especially if you're facing a deadline. But there's a catch. This expedited service comes with a fee, typically ranging from $3 to $7. The bank factor, why deposits might take longer. Even if you choose the free deposit option, there can be external factors that influence the wait time. Here are a couple to keep in mind. Bank processing. Remember, FloatMe doesn't magically make money appear. They initiate a transfer to your bank account, and the processing speed depends on your bank's internal procedures. Some banks might be quicker than others. Weekends and holidays, business days are key. If you request a float on a Friday afternoon, you likely won't see the funds until Tuesday due to the weekend. The same goes for holidays. Pro tip, planning for a smooth float. Here's how to be a float me pro and avoid any unnecessary delays. Know your payday, Always consider when your next paycheck hits before requesting a float. This helps ensure you can repay the advance comfortably without overextending yourself. Request early. If you know you'll need a float, don't wait until the last minute. Give yourself a buffer with the standard deposit option to avoid any late fees or scrambling for expedited options. Link the right account. Double check that you've linked the correct bank account to your FloatMe app. An incorrect account number could lead to serious delays. Float me, a tool, not a crutch. Cash advance apps can be a lifesaver in a pinch. But remember, they're meant for occasional, short-term needs, not a long-term financial solution. Here are some alternatives to consider. Budgeting apps. Take control of your finances with budgeting apps that help you track income and expenses, identify areas to save, and avoid future shortfalls. Open a savings account. Even a small emergency fund can be a game changer. Aim to save up a buffer of a few hundred dollars to cover unexpected costs. Negotiate bills. Sometimes, a simple call to your service providers can lead to flexible payment options or even a temporary reduction in your bill. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.